In this Avid tutorial, let's talk about insert or splice in editing. So for example, I've got a couple shots already on my timeline. I have the car pull up and then it cuts to this shot here, which does work. But what if I wanted to insert a shot in between these two clips? Like for example, the shot that I have here in the source monitor, that's called Bush Shake Cutaway. So I'm actually going to use a couple different uh, pieces of this clip in this scene. But for right now, I've got in and out points on this portion of the clip. And I want to insert this in between these two clips. So I'm going to hold down the command key and just, you know, click on the cut so that I'm centered there. And then I want to make sure that I have uh, V1 highlighted. And now when I press the splice in tool or V on the keyboard, it will place the shot in between these two. Here we go. I'll press splice in. There we go. So you can see that it's spliced in the shot. And that way, if we forget a shot or we want to add something later, we can. Now we're actually going to work with the splice in tool. Let's say that we wanted to rearrange some clips on our timeline. Check this out. If I go over here, and I get just the extract splice in tool and I highlight it, I can grab clips and if I hold down the command key and I put it up front, see how I can move it around? So now it starts out showing us, hey, there's something in the bushes, then we see the car pull up, right? Or if I wanna put it back where it was, if I hold down the command key and I click on it and I drag it to the next cut, we're able to rearrange the shots. The splice in segment tool is very, very useful. But when you're finished using this tool, you should always turn it off so that you don't make a mistake. So once again, you know, if you forgot to include a shot, you can always splice it back in.